What an unusual mod pieces this is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you are bursting with curiosity to learn more about its life history. Well, that's exactly what we plan to do today. In this educational YouTube channel, we want to teach you all about moths. How is that for entertainment? In today's bug highlight, I will be showing you this marvelous green beast. Let's get started. This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. Believe it or not, but this creature right here is a Noctuidae moth. Yes, the Noctuid moths in Brazil are deliciously hairy and colorful sometimes. And this one I identified to, ide identify to be Serostena Aminta. It is aptly named the Emeraldine, a beautiful name for a beautiful insect. This moth is a common species that is found all the way from Mexico to Brazil. This species is found in rainforest and cloud forest at elevations between 200 to about 2000 meters above sea level. The upper side of the hind wings of these moths have hairy frills that protrude from their forewings and that are said to interrupt their outline and help them blend into their camouflage better. Hmm. Perhaps the hares also keep smaller predators at bay, and who knows, even help them sense disturbances. Interestingly, it appears as if the life history of this moth is unknown to science. If that's true, I wonder why that's possible for a species that is so common and so widespread. My guess is that they are primarily a canopy species, in particular the larval stages. Canopy species are difficult to study in a rainforest where the trees can be particularly high. This insect warrants more study to be honest, and this is why I made my YouTube channel, to draw awareness for the forgotten animals of planet Earth that deserve more recognition and attention. I hope you enjoyed the close-ups of this gorgeous insect, despite the fact we really don't know much about it. This was Moth Daddy Bart Coppens. Oh, and if you like my show, consider donating, because YouTube demonetized my channel and refused to tell me why. Thanks, YouTube! Did you know that I raise funds online, and that I use the funds from my YouTube channel to study moths in ways that help their conservation? I hope that information helps. Bye bye, hope to see you in my next video.